So there you have Ellie's 40 centimeter Fiera, and you have Mum's Paris. In this video, we're going to assemble the 40 centimeter vintage Cyclops bicycle. It's very similar to Mum's one. That's pretty much why we got it. Originally, Ellie wanted a Barbie bike to upgrade her frozen bike, but we found this and it looks like mum's one and she also said she wanted a basket as well so we thought why not we'll see how we go now that's my bike and that's zach's bike so another reason we're doing this as well is ali's bike is slightly smaller and zach always has his bike stolen by ali so <laughs> we'll see how we go assembling it and yeah. okay we got this from target i believe for 110 Yes, about that. So, that's Australian too, not US. For anyone else watching outside of Australia, that would probably be 70, well, you've been to America, what would that be? 70 dollars American? Yeah, I think it's about right. Give or take. There's some pretty heavy duty. That's what you get inside the box. I dare say that's three quarters assembled. It'd be similar to Mum's one down here, where we just had to put the front fender on, do the basket, the seat, and the pedals. So I think we take this all out in one go. See now we've got the basket. Oh, it's actually not. Feel that? That's like a um, a rubbery plastic. Mm, isn't that what mine is? Mine's a plastic. No, one yours too. is way firmer. Because Ellie likes to randomly stop at things and say, "Oh, let's take a break. Can I check your phones in there?" And as kids do. I'm new to all of this, so apparently that's what little girls do. Tiny little tornadoes of terror. Purchase the same brand as yours. No, no, I think mine was from Kmart. <clears throat> it's, can you take that over and compare that? I'm pretty sure that's the same color blue. Tiffany, Tiffany's blue. Yeah, look at that. They're made by the same manufacturer. I dare say that they just have um, got the contract with. Say some people call it Tajay. Yeah. One wheel out. Can you put that down on the floor over there, please? Even the same seat colour as yours almost. It's funny because um, Zach's on training wheels. Ali has then seen, well, he got off training wheels, which is a really small bike there. We got him a larger bike, and then he decided out of nowhere, oh, 
I want to get back on the wheels, which we've been trying to tell him before coach him out of it. And now Ellie's come along, seen Zach's bike, ridden his bike, realised that she has fun without the training wheels. Now it's a competition between a three and a half year old and a six year old as to who's going to win. Secretly I want Ellie to win because that'll upset him more. I want her to get off training wheels first. We'll be concerned if Zach's on training wheels for another year or so. Well, we did say to him too, you can look behind you, there are some motorcycles. We did say to Zach, you're not allowed to ride a motorcycle until you're off the training wheels. I wasn't happy with that at all. Yeah. For people who have never assembled a, a pedal bike before, you'll have L and R left and right. Now they're inverted threads, pretty much implying that they can only go on to the left and to the right uh, crank piece because if you do them the wrong way, you'll pedal and you'll find that you're actually unwinding your pedal and it will fall off. What do you think, Mum? Do you think she'll like this more than the uh, Barbie bike? Yeah, she likes to inspect my bike. She likes the bell and the basket and everything that she doesn't have. Just lucky for us, the Barbie bike wasn't available. And then we found a bike that was called Harlequin. Yeah, Harlequin. It was... Um, like an oil slick, metallic. Yeah, uh, actually, put this here just for a second. It was much like the colour one of these. See how this has a weird sort of multicoloured thing going on? There was another bike that was a similar colour to that, like purples. It looks like an oil spill. And we thought, oh, Ali would really like that. They're different colours. Then we ended up here. Well, that one wasn't available either. I think oh, with was lock not available for purchase online. Yeah, I think with lockdown, everyone has gone mad buying bikes. MF lockdown. If you're watching the outside of 2021, that's when the government said nobody's allowed to leave their house except for work. You can and leave exercise. one hour a day for exercise, and that's it. In Victoria. Australia. If you're waste conscious like we are, we end up taking all the wrapping and stuff to the um, recycling plant. That's what, maybe 15 minutes down the road? Yep. And they, will, they will obviously connect to that. I'm not bother about that now. That wasn't attached to anything. The only downside when using scissors is you just got to be careful that you don't scratch the um, paint with it. One of the good things about these pre-assembled bikes, well three quarters assembled, is the majority of the time the brakes, which she doesn't, she must have, maybe she has a um, foot brake, uh, well she's got a front brake, but majority of the time the brakes are already pretty much tuned in. I know with Zach's one they were, with your one they were, with the big black mountain bike they were, which is, which is good because Pretty much means it saves you from fine tuning all the stuff. So, you see here you've got, what's that? I can't read that upside down. Left, left. So 
left thread would probably be 12. Odd. It's 15 million. I don't know what that is in Imperial. So with these, yep, I, if I'm doing it the right way, I can't really figure it out. It should either go one way or the other. Alright, so we go that way. So we go forward. There you go. Because as you're pedaling, Thread will go, see how I'm turning it towards the front of the bike? Now if you come over to the other side, this one, if I'm right, I might make a liar out of myself here. Can you just keep your hand on that bike so it doesn't stop moving? There we go. So now that thread goes to the front of the bike as well. If they were inverted and you put the right on the left, the thread would be going backwards, which actually would still go in, but you'd ride along and you'd be wondering why it's always coming loose. You don't have to do these up too tight, just pinch tight. Now normally I'd be um, looking at the instruction booklet straight away, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just assembling a few bits first. It wouldn't go on the inside because yeah. otherwise the thread wouldn't work. It'd have just just got to find the thread. There you go. Hmm, that doesn't even feel like it should. Maybe it should be mine. Hover. Oh, no, it's definitely 10 mil. Oh, I didn't go that way, I went that way. Should be in line with the wheel. Yep. Good. All right. Now these didn't look like they were done up too tight, were they? No, they're no. for the training wheels. Yeah. So we'll put those on last. Um, seat. That's next. Now we don't know Ali's actual seat height until it's just here. So. Took the same box. Okay, 14. Oops. 
full day meal. Is it not? Now some of you are probably wondering why I've got it sitting on here, why I don't have something underneath that. Well, it could get a little bit scuffed on the underside here, but no one ever really looks at that. And let's be honest, unless you're booting a $5,000 race bike, then you have all the bits and pieces up on the hoists and everything else. Um, is the wheel just not, oh, it's over there. Can you pass me the wheel? Okay, so much like my bike, they have little spaces in whatever those things are. They've got little grippy teeth on them. There's a name for it. I don't know what the name's called, but you pretty much have to look at the orientation of the tire and figure out which way the arrow goes. And the arrow says to the back of the tire, or to the back of the bike, which is wrong. So if we flip it around and we find it, the arrow should now say, it's only on the other side. Is it only on one side? Yeah. Wow, well, that can't be right. That's not very good. So. Yeah. Right, so, rotation. So a bike rolls forward. The arrow says this way. That's what you do. Now, remember what I said about those lugs? You know what? This is going to be a very tight fit. We just take these off. Now, because there's two washers here, I'm going to say one washer goes on the inside, one washer goes on the outside. And I'll take off. Or is there two washers per thing? They're both like that. Oh. All right. Shall I consult? Yeah, product details. Yeah, we're not taking it off road jumping. I mean, she can give it a shot if she wants. How to put the head stem together? Already know that. Uh, let's see if this one has a particular design. For the wheel. Oh yeah, yeah, it tells you about the reverse threads. What I mentioned to you before. Brake adjustment. That's a nightmare in itself. Anyone who's ever had to adjust V brakes knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's never fun. I don't think it's even in here. What's mine got? Huh. And then yet they give you a empty third page for the fender, which that okay. Fender's easy, that's not a problem. Uh, your one. Yours only has one washer. And that goes into that nut right there. So, I will say, we shall lift it up. Let's see how we go first. Pull it out, yep. Mm 
Room turn. Oh. That's what I mean about that little hook. The little hook goes onto that. And that goes onto there. So, um, that's odd. If you look down the wheel, you can see over here, so you have to come around to the side. You can see here, there isn't a gap. But over on the other side here, there's a massive gap. So either that gets pulled in, or this spacer goes on the inside. Like that, which is interesting. What we might try first is just sticking one of these nuts on first. Sticking a nut on this side too. Can you hold that with one hand? Is that turning in for you? Yes. So I should go in. You're right. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you able to still hold that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if you can see the amount of thread that's popping out on the end of this versus the amount of thread on that, it's pretty much balanced itself out. So I dare say they do or are designed to go on the outside. You don't have a stand. It definitely has a skid brake. So She'll like that. Because she likes doing the skids this. Uh, we shall do the training wheels. Okay. Um, let's do some of this stuff in there. We've got Ellie a little belt too. Because now that Mum's got a bell for, for her, a bell. Oh, she's got one as well. Well, we might replace your bell with the other bell because if you remember. The bell on yours broke. And what happened after that? It was a disagreement or something. No, it was a child constantly flicking at it. Look. It breaks. Okay. So I need to pull it down further. Actually, the I'm just undoing the, uh, the two bolts. So we have a weird little thing, which I'm probably going to say, you think that's designed? Yeah, because look at mine. Where did yours go? At the front or behind? Yeah, at the front. Yeah. Not that way. So it'll go onto this bolt here. I'm going to have a Is it? Okay, so it can't go that way. It's definitely got to go in, which may be one of the reasons why we shouldn't put the wheel in in the first place. It's my, what I'm trying to figure out is where these would go in relation. I think it might possibly go at the back. Do you see the gap difference? Where's the box? Let's have a look at the box. Ah, it goes backwards. See? Oh. Opposite from here, it's opposite. That's alright. Oh, it looks good like that too, I reckon. 
Can you do it like that anyway? Because it matches mine. No, I see how the metal rods don't reach. Ah, uh, okay. So, go this way. And where does it say? Insult the box again. The bracket went in the back, okay. So, before we put this on, we have to loosen it. Or would that possibly be the reason that there's a spacer there is yeah. that. I'd say that would looks right. I'd say that is the reason why. And they give you a nut that has the little blue thread on the inside, which you probably can't see on camera. But the, the blue thread indicates it's a... Um, self locking one so it, it, it won't unwind on itself. I'll just snug that up, not too tight. Now, does that fit tight on your side roughly? Uh, needs to be on the outside of it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, that one's really threaded, that sucker. I love these wrenches. I've got the little turny thing here on one side that you can see and then on the other side it's like that they're really good recommend them how are you doing with the time? I think it said it could be done in 25 minutes you're at 27 <laughs> okay there you go but you did talk at the beginning And they didn't give you any new meters of torque for how tight these should be. Now for anyone who wants to know what that is, that's the, the exact amount of pressure it requires to have them all tight. But I'm going to say, finished off that. What's that rubbing on? See where that's rubbing? It's not on the brake, is it? No, I think it's rubbing on the um. Ah, oh, I just realised something. We made a mistake. Can you come back around here? See this 
sliding groove and put this down too low. So, yeah. See how that come up? Mm -hmm. I think that's put down. She'll tell me. Oh, look, it's not touching. If it's not touching, you just tighten it up. That's the rule of how these things work. That's good. So the brakes are generic pinchy brakes. I'll reveal that in a minute. I'm going to take the hand glass now. to get it in the box together. Yes. Jeez. I did that one up tight. So you take the weird little plastic cap off, and you, sl you slide that down the head stem. Right. And you'll see once it goes in, this little one up here will pop up. And then you just tighten it. This is not even really that, not even pinch pressure yet. Now, okay, now I just got the pinch pressure. So you bring the bars up. See that there. Turn that up a bit. Hopefully that's, oh, it's not really centered, is it? Now you're going to get a bit of left and right shake. That's all right. You just haven't, uh, I use me long ones here. I say that would be six. Yep. It's not twisting, which is good. How can the parts on her bike be almost better quality than the parts on the one that I got from Repco? Because the steering stem on this is pretty, that's a solid piece of steel. Go figure. Alright, so that's that now. Brakes. to come around this way. Brakes always have two little grooves in them. And you pull these. But you can't pull it until they're together. To put that piece on. So, what you do is you can either loosen it down here or do it up here first, but I always like to take these off just to make sure that the thread is on it, which you can see there. So you thread it in all the way. If you bring the camera under here, you'll 
you'll see a groove and a groove and it all lines up like that then you take this cable once it's loose and you thread it through so I'll be out of the way for a sec you should be able to go around the outside We're done now. Loosened it completely. Gives me room to pull it under. No, you're not. There we go. Okay, so then you screw that all the way in so it can't jump off it. You come back down here. Can you hold that with your other hand? It pinches it tight. You just want to see. You just give it a little bit of. There we go. All right, let it go for a second. Now let's see. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that slipped, didn't it? Yep. Alright. Okay. And we almost got it spot on first go. Look at that. Okay. Um, where are we going? Okay, so we fixed that with the big pliers down here. We had the crimp, but we had to use all of our hands for that one. So what I'll get you to do is to push in here with one hand. Yep. that with one hand. You got it? Yep. Can you hold that yep. at the same time? Got it. Hopefully we've got this. Okay. There we go. Let's see now. Now you're here. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It breaks nice, because Ali's got little hands. There's only a little bit of brake grab. That's all that we want. We don't want any more than that. So now, uh, we are up to training wheels. So I'm coming around your side, you have a look. That'd probably be 14. There is a washer and a nut over it, like that. The other bit goes on first though. You think? Yeah. yeah. Now the nut goes in that column, yeah. like that. So, see how there's a little ridge? The ridge goes to the back. If you can see it from here. If you can come around here. Yeah. Oh, phone's ringing. Be back in a second. Alright, we got telemarketers calling us on a Saturday morning. Isn't that nice? I'm not going to do this up too tight yet. Just pin tight. Because we don't know. Oh, we'll. Push it all the way up or all the way down? I think all the way up. Like that? Give Ellie a bit of... Yeah. You can always adjust it. Yeah, you can always adjust it. That's right. 
So that one's pinched tight, you come around this side. This should be the same. Grab that, slides in here, and that goes on there, and it goes this stick behind you. So you just need to make sure that that's actually, yeah. Should be able to it's what they call nipping it, I suppose. See how much tipping room. That'd be good for her, wouldn't it? Yeah, she needs to learn to balance. She needs to balance. Feel those grips. They're really smooth. Like, uh, oh, they're spongy. Oh, spongy, yeah. So she's got a bell too, like mum. That is also around the wrong way. Although this bell that's over here produces a... That one produces a nice... Swing. Yeah, you know what? She's better off with that because she will use it flat out and annoy us. Good. So you, you, you prefer this one breaks then? Yep. Okay. Mm. Alright, so we shall. Can you hold that with one hand there? They're pretty generic plastic cable type, type things. Uh, we want to space it out, don't we? And that. Twist you around there. That'll go. Okay. So, did I put that in the middle? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. That's good enough, isn't it? Yep. So, because if the camera can show you from above, you've got this lid little weird void going on, but indentation. We'll take cable tie that I have. In one of these drawers, where'd the cable ties just disappear to? I don't know, because there's garage rules. I don't know if you can read that, but I'm not even allowed to look at them. Yeah, because someone takes tools and doesn't tell me. I wonder who that would be. Certainly not a carpenter's daughter. No. You want that to be pulled in. You want to go for the middle. Right? So, let's say we want to go wherever that spot is. She won't really mind if it's like that, will she? Nope. So we'll just, we'll just trim it there. Okay. There you go. So now if you look in it from the top, it doesn't have that big bow that's in there now. So, I mean, this is a bit of an odd placement, but that's okay. You could 
can't really put it behind it. You don't really want to put it through the bag. Inflate to 36 psi. Okay, 36 psi. Forty. Ah, I just realised this has a really good reflective placement. Same as yours. Yeah, it's definitely the same model. Or oh, the same manufacturer. Okay, now, that's pretty much all done. It's a bit small for me to write. But you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.